Hi, everybody. I am getting dry. <laughs> I think I've done two hours of videos already. I had so much stuff. I think I started with a chit chat. Um, I did two friend videos. Um, or two friend mail videos. Sorry, I'm like, oh. Um, I figured I'd just come back on and do um, at least my two small hauls and the thrift store I went to today at the church. Um, and I might do the, I don't know if I'm going to do the hobby, hobby later, because uh, I got a ton of stuff there too. I might take a break and do that tomorrow, or, you know, I might just continue tonight, because you guys are probably sick of me. Like I said, you can watch these videos whenever you want. But, you know, I just like to get them done, because I want to get stuff put away. But, okay, I might as well start with a Dollar Tree. I just wanted to show you guys, I got, uh, I know some people were able to haul eight. I got, I was able to get six of the clear stamps. Uh, I'll show you guys which ones I was able to get. If anybody can get the two I'm missing, um, let me know. I don't like to ask this stuff, but if you, I really like these. I think they'd be great for cards and to, you know, get coloring. If anybody sees the two that I don't have, if you want to pick them up for me, I'd be more than happy to pay for them and the shipping. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I got this one. I got this one. I know, it's hard to see. I haven't taken them out of the package yet. I got this one. I think the two I'm missing are the... I think I wrote them down somewhere. Now I can't find them. But I think it's one with like a rainbow to the tree or the house. And then there's another house one I think I'm missing. I got this one. I got this one. They are beautiful though. I can't wait to start, you know... Um, putting them on some blank cards and just trying to color, you know. It's one thing coloring in adult coloring books. It's a little more to do these. So those are the six I got. So I hope to get the other two. Um, yeah, from the Dollar Tree. Uh, I picked up a barometer. Or not a barometer, a, thermos, a thermometer. They had that in the... Um, garden section. They really have a lot, don't have a lot for garden. I've been seeing all these little metal pails you guys have had. I, I don't know if they say kitchen or country and something. I can't remember, but they haven't had those at the Dollar Tree yet. And I'm still looking for the fairy stuff. Um, you know, the little ornaments and stuff, but they haven't got those in mind yet either. Uh, I found these, oops, I opened them last night just to see. Um, I wanted to show you guys in the package. They're these little... I've never seen them before. I didn't realize they have markers on the bottom too. And then they roll on top. They're like little um, stampers. They With a little roller ball. They work decent. Um, you know, for a dollar. I thought they were... Whether I use them or put them in pocket letters. And then I did, I told you guys I had picked up one of those. I showed you that the Duchess has sent me one. So I picked up, you know, I did finally pick up one of those. But she has sent me another. And, of course, I can use them both. And some of the stuff you can use on pocket letters, too. It's not just about to put in for a date. So I got that. I got another thing. I told you guys I love the um, double-sided tape for pocket letters and stuff. It's easier for some things to glue, you know. So I got that. Uh, and it's a lot cheaper there for a dollar because then if you go to Michael's or something for the same tape, I don't care what brand it is, as long as it works, it's like four dollars or more. Speaking of, well, not speaking of anything, but I was just thinking to myself, I gotta put that in my shower. I had bought a new loomfa, you know, you don't want to use them for too long, you know, so I got a new loomfa and I found these. I love putting these in, I got some pastel colors. Um, the beads. I like putting them across in pocket letters and stuff, so I picked up some of those. I picked up these for some pocket letters. Um, the Wacka Packs for, um, for, uh, well, you can use them for any time, but they're for Easter. 
Um, the Duchess has sent me some of these, and I have them somewhere. I still haven't done any. I've never done them before. I didn't even know what a whack a pack was. I still haven't done them. But I saw ones for Easter, so I bought those for my pocket letters. And then I found these for pocket letters. I collect pins and brooches and stuff like that. Um, so I, I'll put some of these in pocket letters. I didn't realize they were pins. I always thought they were just, you know, something you could glue on or, you know, whatever. So I never really picked them up before. But then I found these there. And uh, I was like, oh, they're pins. And I've seen other people haul them. And I've seen them put them in pocket letters. So I, you know, it's like, oh. Put this stuff away. Let me see. I have them in my drawer here in an old, like, cigar box, you know, some of the brooches, I don't know why, it's like I'm not a girl or anything, <laughs> but you guys see what I collect, I don't know, I just love pins from the, like, from really nice ones, I mean, they're not gold or diamonds or anything, but I, you know, like, I collect, I don't know why, like, I look at them sometimes, like, I, someday I may, might do a shadow box too, like I said, now that I'm into crafty, but anything from that to the old vintage, you know, like, just pins, you know, brooches, you know, like, the old vintage Santa Claus, you know, yeah, I have all these, um, you know, I just, you know, just pretty ones I think that are pretty, you know, I picked up wherever, you know, like, there's, you know, some, and there's, you know, just anything from cheap to costume, and there's a little bird in the bird cage. you know, this is probably from the 60s or 70s, I don't know why, I just like them, and then even at the dollar store when I find, um, just the cheap little, you know, Easter, you know, Christmas. I have a, I have all kinds, you know, in here. The corn on the cob. <laughs> I know, the. it's funny, the things we collect. There's a little, you know, grapes. Um, yeah. A lot of us, we collect so much, so you kind of have to go small. Yeah, there's another little, like an angel pin from like the 70s. little Irish hat I have, yeah, but anyways, this is supposed to be a haul video, and I'm showing you guys all these little, you know, tchotchkes and stuff, I don't know why, sometimes I just get on a tangent, I'm talking about one thing, and then I'm like, oh, by the way, it's like, and then I'm like, does that even have anything to do with that topic, because I think it does, but then when I start showing something or saying something, I'm like, wait a minute, does that, was that related? Because, <laughs> you know, oh. Uh, and I got these at the dollar store. I thought these would be good. They're not, um, they're too big for pocket letters, but I thought these were so cute. They only had like five or six left, so they'll probably go pretty quick. Um, but I saw these. I thought these were cute. I know we all have so many journals and the whatever, but they're just little lined notebooks. You get a pack of three. I thought those were so cute just to put in friend mail. Like they look like little, uh, trunks or little, um, briefcases. And this one has the like New Orleans and you know like passport kind of thing I thought those were cute uh, yeah I think I got two of the same I thought those were cute to send in friend mail I know I know um, Karen K's for Karen <laughs> she's always picking up notebooks and stuff. it's it's funny it's like I need paper like I need a hole in the head but you know you see the cover and I'm like oh, you know for other people too when I do the friend mail so yeah, I got those. I thought they were cute. And that's my small Dollar Tree haul. And then I told you guys I went shopping with my mom today. We stopped at uh, General Dollar. They had my little flags again this year, so I had to get some of these. Um, I haven't used the ones from, I had from last year. Yeah, I put in a box and I forgot about them because I thought these would be cute. If I can show you guys. I thought they'd be cute in planters or, you know, whatever, even inside, you know, in a planter and stuff. Um, yeah, I found these. I, I thought these were adorable when I saw them last year. I don't know if they, they were only a dollar. I don't know if they had them before. That You know, how long they've had them. But I think I discovered them last year or maybe the year before. But I thought that was cute. They had other ones too. But, you know, you try to contain yourself and only buy the one ones you really like. Whereas before, I would buy them all, and that's what gets you in trouble. 
And then I got this one for my friend Lisa from Lisa's Halls. I know she loves Al, so I saw that and I immediately got that for her. So when I do her a friend mail, like I said, these are only a dollar. So I think they're so cute. I mean, you could put it in your yard if you want, if you, if you have a little flower bed. I mean, it's not going to... I mean, you could put an actual mailbox, but it's not going to make that big of an impact. But, you know, yeah, and a little flower bed or whatever inside in a pot or if you just want to put it into something. So I got that for Lisa, you know. They only had the one, so I'm like, if I don't grab it. Um, and then they actually, they had buttons there too, pin, uh, pins. They only had the one, though. So I got a thing of those. And did I get anything else? Oh, I got some aspirin. <laughs> Throw that in my drawer. And I got another thing of those... Oh, no, I got two things. I got another thing of those, those magnets. I actually bought the same two I showed you guys the other day. These are for pocket letters. I forgot they have two different styles, so I picked up another one of those, the other two. And then I found these. I don't know if they'll, they'll work or not, but they're for sheets. They're sheet holder clips. I guess, you know, how you have that little gusset thing on the bottom of your your uh, bed. I guess you're supposed to like kind of put these on with the sheet. I'm not sure how that works, but we'll see. I've tried the other ones, you know, where you get the elastic and you clamp them on each side and it, you know. I must move a lot in my sleep. I have flannel sheets on right now too, I think they're called or something. You know, I like the warm, you know, sheets for the blanket down or not down. This new bedding they come out with, I think I got that off HSN, I think it was, or something like that. I mean, you can buy it anywhere now today. Um, I forget what they call the stuff. But yeah, so it gets all... But anyway, let me get on with this. So we're... I got these two pictures there. Uh, I don't think they're anything... I mean, they could have been 10 or 20 bucks. Uh, I only paid, they were two fifty dollars each. She let me have them for $3 for the pair. Um, they're nice. They're real glass and stuff, but it's not like it's, you know, uh, museum quality. But, you know, this one says love, and it's kind of got a little some feathers there. I thought they were pretty, like if I do the craft room later. Um, it says love is the master key that opens the gate of happiness. Yeah, they kind of try to make them a little dimensional. They add a little, little ribbon on there and a little bit of, bit of um, feather. It's probably because, you know, that's when they charged out home goods or something like that. $20, $30 for them. You know how that goes. Even though they're not, like, museum quality or, you know, whatever. So, they try, you know, just so they can up the price. But I got them for $3. So, I was kind of like, do I want to pay 5 And then she's like, oh, I'll take them for 3 And then it's, you know, got the piece one. Uh, peace in your home, in your heart, in the world. Hopefully. You know? I'm going to try to be quick because I told you guys every time now I go to the craft section there and stuff, I got two V's for my last name. I'm going to put those in the craft room when I do that. I found these boxes there. They're brand new. I thought they were cute. Of course, they have the vintage keys. I might use these on my desk or something. Like, when I do crafts, I might put, um, stick, you know, loose stickers or whatever in them. Or I might put them in friend mail. I don't know yet. I found these. I told you guys a hundred times I'm having to move. I should just leave these <laughs> packaged, probably, rather than taking them out. Um, they're probably a little bit dusty, but I thought they were cute. They're like fall leaves. I got a set of three. I think I paid $1.50 for them. Uh, I think you put tea light candles or whatever, but I'll probably, I can probably put flowers or do anything I want with those. But yeah, they came, there were three of them. They're different colors. I thought they were cute. There's like the, uh, orange, you know, red one. And then there's like a multi with a yellow and the red. Let me just... 
I just want to wrap these bags so that I don't get them broken or something. So I want to wash that stuff because you guys know it gets dusty. Uh, yeah, I found two of those boxes. I'm trying to go a little quicker now. I looked at the ribbon. I found a lot of, not a lot. Well, I mean, they had a lot of ribbon, but I didn't want to buy everything. Uh, I like this. They have a couple that are, like, older. I mean, you could tell they're older, but I like the pattern and stuff. You know, the hat, the whole, you know, country kind of thing. Um, so, yeah, I got that. Well, you can tell this is old. It was two for a dollar back in the day. So, it's like, you don't get ribbon like that now unless it's, you know. Um, but, yeah, I got that. And then I found this older one. Um, this one I can use in pocket letters and stuff, too. This can be cut down. I'm like, what can I use that for? Um... Because it is bigger, but I could cut it down the middle, too, and stuff. But I'm like, you know, for that, for, you know, I th probably a quarter piece I paid for them. I'm not sure. I got this pink one. You know, it's bigger, too, with roses. Um, and then this is, like, the blue beads. Uh, I got some yellow, of course. I got this one. It says, time goes by. It's just, um, like pink. This one has Easter eggs on it. I'm surprised how much craft stuff they got there, because I would never usually have looked at the craft stuff before. This one has yellow, and, um, I was happy to find these. I thought these were more, usually when you find these, they're, um, like little, um, they're usually invitations, but you get eight in here, which is going to save me some money. They're Easter cards. Um, they're actually Easter cards. They're not, like, in invitations to a party. You, they're from Hallmark. These are probably from the 90s, maybe. They're older. You know how a lot of people would buy these, and then they put them away, and then, you know. No, it doesn't say a date. Not that it matters, but I'm going to have to start looking, because I'm making so many friends on here. It's like, even though I, even if I go to the dollar store, I haven't started making my own cards yet. Even if I go to the dollar store and you, you buy the two for a dollar, it adds up. So, yeah, I like to send everybody a card, but I also want to make sure, you know. So I need to start looking for more packs like these, you know, where you get eight and stuff. I don't know if they sell them at the dollar store like that or not, but I'm going to start looking because, you know, the price of cards and the price of stamps, if you're sending 50 cards, you know, it adds up. And then I found uh, these were tags. They say two from on the back, but... They bend over. These are from Mary Engelbert Britt. I know she's popular um, as an artist and stuff like that. But yeah, they bend over. So, uh, But I figured I can use them for other things. Or I could uh, cut them down the middle and use them for pocket letters. You know, because you have both sides. And it comes with ribbon too. So those were brand new. Uh, then I found this like um, wedding prom dress. It's got uh, the prom dress. Or wedding dress, and then it's got a big kind of bow tie. I'm not sure what the bow tie. I know it's just kind of weird together. I, well, it's not weird together. It's just the size of the bow tie compared to the dress. <laughs> you know, if you're, if you're going to put it in a scrapbook. And then I also found these ones. These are from Laura Ashley. I thought these were pretty too. These tags. Like I said, they're two from, but you know, you get the ribbon too. And I can cut those down. And then I found three stamps. I didn't even look. I didn't even look at the letters. I just saw the stamps, and I'm like, you know, I think I probably paid a quarter each. They're actually all brand new. Uh, I didn't even look at them, you know, the letters or anything. Um, I got a C, which I, I'm sure Virginia must have a big C for Connor's. Connor. Um, if she doesn't, she can let me know, and maybe I'll throw that in a friend mail for her. Um, but I'm sure she does. But, yeah, I just bought these because now it's like before I would have bought only a letter that I was going to use, you know, for myself or my own initials. And then I got two R's, um, which doesn't have anything to do with my name either. It's David Paul. But, you know, I picked those up for friend mail, and I'm trying to think if anybody with an R. But, I mean, I'm sure, you know, I do. But, yeah. Um, let me put this away quick because we're already at 20 minutes again. And this is going to be another 30 minute video. So, let me put this away. 
and I'll show you guys the rest. I don't think there's too much in here. I did pick up this. Like I said, you guys know my favorite color is yellow. I thought that was pretty. Um, you can put a candle on the back or, you know, a fake candle that lights up. It says, God bless this home. Oh, it just says, God bless this home over and over again. But I thought that was beautiful with the yellow. And I was talking to you guys earlier about paper and how people cut them up and they've, you know, um, given them, you know, in friend mail and stuff so other people could try different papers and different, you know, whatever. And I thought that was a great idea. And I found this there today. It, it says wedding paper or whatever. I mean, it's just romantic to me. You can use it for anything. But it's 45. It's six full-size sheets. Uh, but it's 60, ugh, sorry, 45 square feet. They had two more. Uh, two more of them. I should have bought the other two, too. This thing is heavy. I mean, it's huge. If you can see the pattern, it's like um, like a book with roses, like maybe would sign the guest book or whatever. I thought that would be beautiful in pocket letters or, to, like I said, to cut up two and send people, um, you know, like squares of it. They had two more. I might have to go back and get them if you guys think that's a good idea to cut that, you know, and put in um, friend mail. And then I found this. Uh, make new friends, but keep the old ones. But keep the old. One is silver while, while, ugh, while the other is gold. I paid 50 cents for that. It's brand new. It's uh, a um, picture album. It's amazing the stuff that people get rid of that, you know, still brand new that they never used or someone passed away and, you know, they gave it to the church or whatever. But I thought for a friend book or I can do like a pocket letter. I'm not sure what the pages look like inside. I can do a pocket book, you know, for somebody. So I found that. Then I found these cards, which I thought were gorgeous. They come in this little thing. There's some different ones. Look at this. I mean, that, I don't think that was cheap when whoever bought it, you know, they never, looks like they're all here. Um, these are, you know, they're, yeah, just blank note cards. Yeah, I don't think these ones, you know, that's probably, you know, I don't know what they, you know, what the price would have been, but I can imagine, you know, those would be something from Michael's or, you know, wherever that, you know, <laughs> would charge you 10 or $20. These are beautiful cards. I think there's eight of them. I didn't count them, but, you know, I think I paid a quarter or 50 cents. So, it's amazing what you can find at these thrift stores. Like I said, when I lived in Burlington, which is about an hour and a half, depending, because we have to take, you have to take a ferry or you can drive around to get there. In Vermont, where I lived, you know, I moved over there for 13 years. Um, we had a Goodwill, and, you know, of course, you would always find stuff. I wish we had a Goodwill over here. I'm not sure why we don't. We're big enough, and we have enough people, but... And then the last thing I got... Er, no, I got two things. I got uh, this there. I wish it had come with a drawer on it. It comes with a two thing where you can put the paper, but it's for my monitor I got. I only paid $2 for it. Because uh, you guys know I have so much crap here. You write so, <laughs> so many notes. I keep my badge here for work. I keep my pen because I'm a nurse's aide. So, you know, you have to do charting. I keep my watch. You have to, you know, when you're doing pulses and stuff. I have a pencil thing over here. I have, a, you know, just, you know, your checkbook and all this stuff here. So I bought this so I could, you know, hire this up a little so I could have a little more room on my desk. Um, so, yeah, I wish they had a drawer. I don't think it ever did have a drawer. I mean, it has this thing underneath where it moves. I'm not sure what that was about. I have no idea. But anyways, I got that there for $2. That was, you know, if you go in the store, or a com especially a computer store, uh, you know, that was probably $50 or something. Uh, I told you guys they have a free section at mine. <laughs> you know, you never know what they're going to have in there. They have this little yellow clamp clip chip clip and then I got a doll stand you know I collect some porcelain dolls and stuff like that you guys have seen my and then the last thing I got there which has never been used I'm not 
sure how old this is. I don't know if it's antique or not. It's like a photograph book. Uh, or it could just be, you know, one made today, you know, as a scrapbook. It is a little bit older. You can tell it's a little bit older. I mean, it's a few, you know, a few years old. I'm not sure if it's antique. Not that that matters. Or if it's, you know, was made to look old and it's just like for scrapbooking today. But either way, this one's never been used. Um, you can usually tell if it's been used because it will have those little um, white things to hold in. But yeah, that is my haul from the church rummage sale. Church. I always try to think of the word to say flea market. Um, and then my other two hauls. I'm probably going to come back and just do the other video. Like I said, this will be like three or four hours of videos I'm doing tonight. But I want to put this stuff away. Because, um, yeah, I want to show you my Hobby Lobby haul. Yeah, Hobby Lobby. Just saying that, say that five times fast. Okay, if you like my videos, please subscribe, leave a comment below, and give it a thumbs up.